Welcome, debtors and borrowers, to Bankruptcy Bailout. My name is Matt Burkus. I'm a Colorado-based bankruptcy and student loan relief attorney. And today we're going to address the question of mistakes to avoid when repaying your student loans. So let's just dive into it So the, the, and briefly review the payment options here. So there's three standard payment options when it comes to uh, your federal student loans. You have a uh, standard repayment, which is 10 years, fixed payment for 10 years. Then you have graduated repayment, which is a variable payment that starts off a little bit lower in the early years of the repayment term. And then that payment or the monthly payment increases uh, the further along you go. And then the third one is extended repayment. And this is for people with more than $30,000 of student loan debt. And you can extend the payment term out to 25 years. So those are the standard plans. And then in addition to those, there are income driven plans. There's five different versions of that. We're not going to get into them here, but the basic idea is that um, you will, or your monthly payment will be fixed to a percentage of your gross income. And then you do that for 20 or 25 years, depending on which program you're on. And then at the end of that 25 year period, uh, any remaining balance of your student loan is forgiven. So those are the income driven uh, programs in a nutshell. But here we're talking about mistakes to avoid when repaying your student loans. And the first mistake to avoid is putting your loans into deferment or forbearance. You really need to avoid doing that because most likely you have a basket of loans that includes subsidized and unsubsidized loans. And on the unsubsidized loans, interest is going to continue to accrue when you have your loans in deferment or forbearance. All right, and it's just not a good idea because you're not paying down the balance. You want to get some money to minimally to pay the accruing interest on the loans. Um, one of the structural problems with student loans or one of the structural challenges is that uh, when is the amortization table of student loans, okay? So what happens is, is that uh, when your student loans go into repayment, no matter what payment program you're on, most of the money that you pay in the early years of your repayment cycle is going to interest. Because after all, you've been in school for four years and some of your loans have been accruing, accruing interest during that four year period. And then if you stack on deferment on top of that, okay, then when you finally do go into repayment, you're paying nothing but interest for years and you're never really going to see the balance and the principal balance decrease. And this is how people end up getting stuck in their five, 10 years in, and they still owe the same amount that they did that they borrowed <laughs> when they graduated from college. And a lot of it has to do with utilizing all three years of your deferment and then throwing them into forbearances because the servicers, the, fe uh, the federal loan uh, servicers will easily give you an economic forbearance if you ask for it, right? I mean, that's their go-to thing. Uh, and that's been, now is being widely criticized and there's been lawsuits about that, uh, but it is still pretty easy to get a forbearance, but you really should not use a forbearance or deferment unless you absolutely have to. You want to immediately go into repayment and start making a payment. The second mistake people make is reflexively opting for the lowest possible monthly payment in, uh, among the various options available to you. Okay, now I understand the challenge. I understand, you know, your new job, new responsibilities, you're living on your own, you have all these expenses uh, that you probably weren't paying yourself before, and you want your student loans to be as easy as possible. But what does that mean? That means either you're probably in some sort of graduated repayment or any more because uh, the balances, the average balance of student loans uh, for graduates is pushing into that 30,000 mark. You're getting on an extended repayment program, which can be 15, 20, 25 years. So you want to prioritize repaying your student loans and try to get on to at least one of the 10 year payment cycle, either the standard fixed payment or the graduated repayment and go from there. So don't just reflexively pick the lowest possible payment, arrange your life so you can get out from underneath your student loans. The third mistake would be just missing payments. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're going to miss a payment without a forbearance or deferment. Now, I know I said, you know, avoid forbearance or deferment, but at the same time, you don't want to miss a payment. So if you know 
if something's happening and you know you're going to miss a few payments, do get on the phone and, and request either a deferment or forbearance, because you can always get off of forbearance or deferment very easily by just sending in a payment. But if you know you're going to miss some payments, you're, you're hitting some hard times, don't just miss payments. Because, I mean, mainly that's going to affect your credit, all right, because you're going to have these delinquent payments on there. And then if you stack enough missed payments up, specifically nine, then your student loans will go into default, and that's bad. Okay, once they go into default, that triggers a whole bunch of things, such as um, uh, they can start intercepting your tax refund, garnishing your wages, and so forth. Now, that's not going to happen right at month nine when you miss it, but, I mean, your loans go into default status, and then you have to take specific steps to get them out of default status, plus fees, collection fees are added on top of that, so you're gonna be compounding the balance of your student loan by allowing them to go into default status. So if you're gonna miss some payments, or if you anticipate doing so, do get on a forbearance, but otherwise, try to avoid uh, forbearance. Uh, the fourth mistake is not seeking, or not arranging your life in a way to maximize the benefits to you uh, that are available to you for repaying student loans. A lot of employers now provide uh, student loan repayment assistance. The federal government um, allows businesses to pay your student loans, obviously, or give you money to pay your student loans, uh, and they get a tax benefit for that, all right? Uh, under the CARES Act, uh, the, the amount was changed, or what they, the education benefit, you know, because the employers can also pay for your education. The CARES Act allowed them to use that money to repay student loans as well, but you can also have student loan repayment assistance. Plus, there's just various programs, depending on your type of occupation or profession, to provide assistance or forgiveness for student loans. Obviously, you know, there's the public service loan forgiveness, which has its own issues, but it's there, and it only takes 10 years. Uh, various professions have their own uh, programs, nurses. There's nurse repayment, doctors, lawyers, um, you know, anyone really working in the charitable fields all have incentives and plus employers um, are offering, a lot more employers are offering uh, student loan repayment assistance. Uh, just off the top of my head, I know Peloton has a nice program, Google does, Fidelity. So a lot of large corporations are going to offer you um, student loan repayment assistance. So seek that out. Don't just settle for a particular job, but seek out maybe a position that will help you um, not only with a good salary and a good job with the future, but offer you student loan repayments. And then the fifth mistake, uh, I think is just more part of the theme here, is borrowers not prioritizing the repayment of your student loans. I mean, because the sad reality is, is that the data shows it takes on average a person 19 years to repay uh, their student loans. And I, I was guilty of that too. And I didn't even have a lot of student loan debt. My student loan payment was like $130 a month. But because it's so enticing to not prioritize it, because after all, it's, it's probably the lowest interest rate uh, debt that you have it has the most flexibility in repayment and you have these deferment and forbearance options so it's really easy to sort of set them at the bottom of the priority and not address them and there but then you know and and here we are you're 10 years into it you're like ah, i still owe thousands of dollars on my student loans and that's just because you didn't prioritize repaying your student loans early on uh, when you could because the longer your student loans are repayment the more interest you're going to pay. And again, remember, in the early years of repayment, you're paying mostly interest at that point. It's only later, you know, in the last five years of a 10-year program that you're really starting to get into knocking out the principal balance on the student loans. So if you can, you know, try to arrange your life in a way that allows you to repay your student loans quickly and efficiently, seek out opportunities for assistance and maybe arrange or design your life in a particular way to seek out particular opportunities, whether it's volunteer opportunities in a specific profession or serving specific needs that may help you repay your student loans. Don't miss a payment. Don't reflexively go after the lowest payment. Really assess what your options are and what you can afford. And again, avoid putting your student loans in deferral or forbearance unless you absolutely have to. 
So my name is Matt Burkus. I'm, again, I'm a Colorado bankruptcy and student loan relief attorney. I offer initial consultations for people uh, struggling with their student loans. Those consultations cost $169, but most of the time we can get you pointed in the right direction without further assistance from us. However, we do offer legal representation uh, to individuals who have complex or need our services beyond um, the provision of basic, reliable information. Best of luck to you.